everybody welcome to my channel i hope you're doing well um i'm so happy that you're here with me so let's take a look today uh, and spend some time together and see what are they thinking about you so we are going to be choosing three piles and let's see what are they thinking about my group one so we are going to start with day and night for group number one all right group number two we are going to have miss sunshine okay let's see then group number three sorry about the camera group number three you are going to have the gardener so all right take the time to choose the one that you're most drawn to okay and um we are going to see each other in your readings as usual my dears and thank you so much for being here all right see you in your readings my dear group one so if you chose this day and night i already shuffle here and we are going to find out together what do you have so first of all uh, what are they thinking this person is thinking that there is something very opposite for both of you okay this is the first thing that uh, came to my mind is that there is something very opposite uh, between you two and it seems that this person cannot see clearly something or there is it's like there is something in between you but at the same time there is not okay that's the feeling I got with this um, I think this person might be ready to uh, share something with you okay um, share some care uh, I don't know why I'm having this this care message uh, with you um, but at the same time it seems that this this person is thinking that there is some avoidance here there is something that you are avoiding um, and perhaps not want, wanting to work on something okay it might be that you feel this is somehow there might be some difficulty here between you two it's like in the middle there is love okay but there are kind of things that are against you things that are against you too and because of that uh, there is not much effort this person is thinking that you don't put much effort into um into your connection because this person really feels that your meeting is a gift okay and it's a gift of trans of transforming of transformation um but it seems that this is what they are thinking okay might not be true so true to you i mean might not be true to you because you have your vision of things but it seems that you bring a lot of transformation to this person you bring a lot um you expose many things that uh, perhaps this person never saw before or never thought about it before so you bring to light many things that at first glance was not obvious and uh, the, maybe the fact that you're not investing also uh, brings, brings some growth here into this person. This person knows that um, it's interesting because I was thinking about effort and then the, the card effort just appeared. This person knows that uh, whatever you two are having here is something that transforms you both uh, and that in the end is a gift okay but I see some suffering here because I saw I saw some suffering here and um, it might be that this love 
is not being allowed to be expressed completely and uh, both of you may be doing this because this person probably cannot understand understand the depth of what you were exposing or of what you were saying and um but in, in you know in between these two energies that are stuck are kind of stuck there is love here and there is great admiration um It, I believe this person uh, would like you to make a bit more effort of something. It seems that you are, this person feels that you are protecting yourself. Um, but at the same time, I see that you know that you need to protect yourself. All right. You need to protect yourself because the, it's like the problem is much bigger than you and this other person seems completely okay all right and um and you know that uh, it's not being fair for you i am receiving some message about you too okay you know that it's not being fair to you and in the end i believe that th uh, this person is seeing you the fact that you are not uh, giving this person the effort that they would like you to put in this, okay, is also allowing this person to see in places inside of them that they normally avoid, okay. But it's interesting that this person believes that you are not seeing, that you're not seeing something. It's like this person is kind of um, projecting here, okay? And this can be, of course, all about fears. Um, I believe that... Uh, This person might be projecting, projecting a lot of their fears on you, a lot of their fears. And because of that, there is a lot of darkness and um, confusion, confusion. Well, when I mean, well, what I mean by darkness is not really darkness, because um, if you have faith in something, uh, darkness doesn't, isn't, is not going to be something bad, okay? If you have faith, darkness is nothing. You can go through darkness uh, with light in your heart, okay? With your heart, uh, you know, secure in faith. But the problem here is that what I'm feeling is a lot of uh, that this person uh, is confused. Confused. Uh, fears took the best of them. Sometimes I believe we use the word darkness, but what we, of course want to express is not if it's dark or if it's a light because there is knowledge in light and there is faith that is a kind of a knowledge that everything is okay in darkness and here what i see is that this person kind this person sees something and at the same time doesn't see or it's like the the fears kind of cloud their vision but it might be a lot of ego here going on okay and then projecting to you uh this uh it seems with this message that this person would like something to advance something to to be more fluid but I believe that uh, this person is not is not getting is not understanding something. And let's see what are they not understanding. What are they not understanding? Let me take perhaps from this oracle. What are they not understanding?
something happened in the past that holds the key holds the key to whatever situation is happening here to i believe this lack of movement uh you have you know you have your own reasons for this and uh, there is a, the answer is somewhere in the past somewhere in the past i believe there's there was someone pointing finger fingers to other person while in fact they were the ones that never um, gave the step that how can i say this they never understood that um First of all, people can have different reactions to things and people are allowed to behave uh, in a different way. And then that doesn't mean they are less or more. Okay, Each person has their own individuality and that is, that is beauty. That is uh, the beauty of the universe. Okay, The universe is colorful. And I believe this person was judging you by their lens. And um, probably you were offering in the beginning something to this person that they didn't receive and because they thought they, they owned the truth, okay? They owned the truth. But in fact, that was their own prison. So I think there was a lot of ego going on here. So uh, there was something important in the past that this person didn't want to recognize. This person was not thinking big enough. Uh, this person was perhaps limited in their own vision and didn't want to see more in life. Okay, didn't want to see the richness of creation, which is uh, each person has their own individuality. And if two people uh, cannot meet uh, in this individuality, uh, you know, uh, is not is not working because is the is the blessing of two different beings being able to come together as different. And, and growing together, that is the purpose uh, of this life, isn't it? Is to meet things that are different and uh, appreciate the difference and appreciate the, um, the richness of the, word, of the world. But it's, what it seems to me is that this person couldn't do that uh, while they were given uh, chances in the past because I see here there was a key in the past but that was not seen by this person maybe uh, more than one one offer uh, was presented to the to this person okay and um, the thing is that uh, this person couldn't get out of a certain place that they were imprisoned and because of that they couldn't see uh, how much you were there um, in that situation, maybe offering uh, your uniqueness, okay? Um, and um, yeah, and that's that's the the beauty in life is each one uh, of us being unique and being able at the same time of coming together with respect and um, sharing their uniqueness in a respectful way. So this person is believing that you are um, in a position right now of uh, maybe ex trying new things maybe you got out of um hmm uh, your normal how can i say this 
uh, you're maybe you're doing something different. That's what I mean. Maybe you're doing something different, and this person it might be hearing something. There's something with the hearing, something about you, okay? Um, and I believe you now have uh, somehow your back turned on this person. And there is something shiny, shining ab about you with a new light, with a new light. And it might be that you're creating something. What are they thinking about my group number one? This person is not, the thing is that this person doesn't want to give up, right? But let me see how are they wanting to do this. So uh, I'm going to take here some cards. First of all, I believe this person is going to think about a solution here. Because you're kind of giving your back to them. But this person doesn't want to this to be finished. So what I see here is that um, I see this card very similar to the magician. Every time I look at it because the magician knows how to to um magician knows how to uh create things magician knows how to you know manipulate manipulate things in their vantage okay and this person doesn't want to give up here on something and um and here with the seven um Seven of Cups here and uh, is in reverse. Hmm. This person doesn't want to give up in the illusion of uh, whatever they create. Okay, it's like this person is not seeing the truth in front of, of them. The answer might be there, but this person doesn't want to see. Okay, this person doesn't want to see something. What do they don't want to see? Okay, again, uh, I feel that... There is another way. This person doesn't know the way, the real way that sustain a life or of a relationship. So this person knows about illusions, but this person doesn't know about the truth, how to sustain really a connection and a relationship. Uh, the path of caring, the path of respect, the path of um uh you know the real love real love for another person okay and because of that uh they might insist of creating a kind of an illusion here where things there are temporary and they they go they go away easily um like temporary pleasures let's say that in fact they they are if you do that as a you know habit they are going to harm you and um not going to be they are not going to be good for you but in in opposition to that there are habits that are you know that you can do they are not bad for your health they are not going to harm your uh, life okay and that sense of knowing how to grow things in a healthy way i believe this person is not knowledgeable or not going that way not wanting to go that way 
the way of emotions, the way of sensitivity. Here I see a contrast, contrast between quick pleasures and pleasures that, um, you know, can, can really, they disappear like that. And actually they are not good for you. Okay. And I see, um, another point, which is when we plant something with love and let it grow and we respect, uh, you cannot plant something if you don't respect that space where it's going to to grow you cannot um you know it's not never it's never going to grow if you um don't take the time and the, the attention to put into that that plant so there are two ways of doing things and it seems to me that this person is here uh trying to create an illusion they don't want to quit but what they are offering is something that is not is is not the truth because the elixir of life is uh, you know what gives you um eternal eternal life so is is like it is the truth the truth okay all right so i'm going to finish here and um, we are going to be seeing each other next readings i hope you this resonated let me know in the comments i would appreciate because I also like to get to know you because, um, you know, it's also a way that your energies pop up more in uh, my readings. So thank you so much for your presence and we are going to see each other next time. Bye. Hi, group two. Welcome to your reading. So I already shuffled and uh, let us see together what are your cards. So first of all, um, all right, there's something here being popped up. Um, there's a feeling, uh, maybe this person is in this moment with more fear than you are. And they are seeing a kind of a contrast here between you two. There is something that happened that this person, uh, um, something happened recently that this person felt like karma. This person felt like, you know, they they were left with men, a lot of fears and probably even feeling less, less than, okay? Because you're shining so much. Um, they are thinking there, there are ways I are kind of stuck. There is a lot of stuck energy here and... Um, Yeah, and uh, it seems that uh, things are not moving, um, this person is thinking. So they are thinking that you are not moving things. They are thinking that maybe you did kind of, you are, you are in a, a search, full, uh, a search for self. Uh, maybe they, this also means that you you are not connecting with them so much. There is a kind of a hidden factor here. There is a lot of darkness, meaning the, um, uh, what I mean by this is not is not the darkness itself, but it's the the feeling of cannot this person be cannot uh, not being able to see something, and that's about you, okay. And it seems that this person is thinking that you went you went here into a quest, uh, a personal quest, and you kind of maybe you can, you are holding something here back. Yeah, and uh, yeah, this person maybe you did say something to this person like you wanted to stop this or you you somehow let it it be known that you wanted to stop because uh, the vision or the energy that you were receiving uh, from whatever was happening here was not allowing you to grow. So you decided to choose uh, here a way or a path of growth, a path of knowledge um, and leave behind something that, um, you know, was even was kind of drying you 
<laughs> meaning was not allowing you to grow, was not allowing you to uh, be fruitful in your life. Maybe you felt stuck with this. Um, this person is seeing you shining, is thinking that right now you're shining. Maybe you are different. There is a certain aspect. Maybe even the fact that you went away um, is different. Okay. But whatever is pulling you to this top, this person cannot see clearly, okay? And uh, there are a lot of fears here involved, things that are not clear to this person. And also this person now was the one left in that, in that space of not, you know, that is not fruitful, it's not fruitful. And um, it's like life suddenly is upside down and this person feels small i think there is something with their self-confidence too okay so let's see more what are they this person is watching you what are they thinking about my group number two yeah they are seeing you going after what you want and wanting to materialize things probably old dreams Okay, and making it happen. You maybe this decision it was already because something was not growing, and you want something to be happen happening. Yeah, maybe even it, we are talking here about material things. Okay, even having your own house, um, or if it can also be putting barriers around you. Uh, because you want to, you want this self love. You want to stay in a place that is fruitful. You want to stay in a place where you are going to be able to find your dreams. That you are going to be able to pursue your dreams, and um, you understand that uh, you have power over you. Okay, you went to a place where you are going to have power over you. So this person is seeing that. Yeah, this person is feeling like you, you're not paying attention to them, okay? That's something also clear. Um, there is a kind of a separation here. Uh, you decided to quit. And this person, maybe they try to explain something to you. Maybe they even try to, to hold you back here. But it's like, it's, it's not happening. It's not happening. So let me see more. So, okay, what are they thinking about my group number two? Yeah, they are thinking that you, you both of you, you are in different energies. Um, uh, both of, something is kind of over here. It needs to, to be renewed in another way. And it's like maybe you grow, you grow apart. You grew apart, okay? There is that message. Um, yeah, and um, maybe this person is also seeing that you, maybe you're having faith that things are going to be mater materialized. This person is thinking that you might not have you know, you have dreams and you want to go after it. You may not have the structures, the the full structures yet, but this person is seeing you moving after what you want. Okay. Let's see more here. Okay, there are there are feelings here for you. Okay, that's for sure. There are strong feelings here for you. This person sees you as their wish fulfillment. This person sees you as someone that they want. They you know is you are their dream person. Yeah. 
yeah, it's like you have, this person really, really mm, loves you. This is love because there are so much emotions here, okay? This is love. This person loves you. Uh, something happened here uh, that you decided to quit. This might be a, a, an argument. This might be something in those terms. But um, this person sees and is thinking that you are kind of facing here uh, probably some fears from the past, but you are facing it. And um, yeah, it's like this person really sees how much, how special, how special you are. You are recovering also. There is this uh, feeling of recovering. Um, but there is so much heart in you, okay? You, this person really sees that. Yeah. This person sees that you are pausing, that there is a pause here. Mm -hmm. Maybe there was some something that um, was in the middle of you two, okay? There was something here that was not supposed to be there that kind of went, you know, uh, went in the middle of you two. Let me see more. And there was a decision to pause something. This can be an energy of something that, you know, was in the middle of you, but, uh, or someone, okay? But that something can also be um, purposes, uh, growing in a different direction, um, um, finding out that you have a dream that is not compatible with the other person, or things in these terms and the both of you decided to pause to pause this I think this person really holds you in their hearts and the memories that you created together are going to be there and are there, are very present with this person. Okay, they are going to try to tempt you somehow, okay? Um, so it seems that in this person's mind, this is not over. Yeah, it might be that this person is going to send you a message, is going to initiate some conversation, is going to try to attract you somehow, okay? this person is going to try to seduce you again okay so this is not over and i believe this person is going to be thinking with their heart it's like the you know their heart is going to be there mm -hmm. maybe you are a very good observer there's something with observation I think this person is very hopeful for the future, okay? You might be going through this, uh, but somehow this person maintains a certain, um, yeah. This person is, is ready to come after you, um, you know, even though things right now might be stuck and there is this kind of, you know, not fruitful, not feeling fruitful, uh, this person is hopeful that the future will bring something different for you, for you too. 
will bring happiness for you too. Okay. So my dears, I think this was pretty uh, straightforward and um, I'm going to finish here. Let me know if this resonated and I really appreciate that you do that because it's a way that I can also, you know, uh, receive your energy and uh, it might be that it's going to pop up in further readings uh, with more, more precisely. Um, so that also helps and I'm really happy that you are here with me we are going to be seeing each other next time all right so have a lovely day bye hi my dear group three welcome to your reading i already shuffled and we are going to be um figuring out together what your cards are about so this person how are they seeing you i think this person is seeing you moving towards your dreams okay moving towards your success um, this is also probably a meaning that maybe you want a home, really, um, physically, or you want to build a home, or you want to find your home. Um, but the most interesting thing is that there is a, a self-love here going on. This person sees you uh, in, with self-love and also a lot of color green, which is the heart chakra. There is a lot of self-love here going on and because of this you are able to grow whatever you want in your life so um there is also an element of an unexpected about you it's like many things can come uh, from you okay you you might not you are not obvious it's like you 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 always have an element of surprise uh, for this person and um, there is something non-traditional okay uh, or something was kind of some traditions were not followed anymore um, it might be that there is many reverses here a lot of blocked energy This person believes that something is still to happen. Something is still there to be seen. And because of that, uh, a certain thing that used to be is not anymore. Okay? It's like things are out of, of place. Things are not where they should be for the, in this person's mind. It might be because of that that you appearing here with a lot of self-love. It can be that something was broke here. Let's see more. Yeah, pause. You have pause. So it's interesting because there is kind of... Maybe you were... You know what I, I feel here? You are discovering yourself. You are in a self-journey, self-love journey here. And um, there was there is a pause here. Maybe something that... You decided, um, you decided not to go in a certain way that it should be in this person's eyes. Uh, you know, it was the tradition, let's say. Okay, maybe you were not... Huh. It's like you decided to go to trust yourself. You decided to trust your intuition. You decided to trust yourself and, and believing that you are being guided by something stable and firm. Okay? You decided to trust. Okay, maybe there was something that... You had to risk because in order so that you gain your own self-love. You had to risk and trust and trust yourself. Maybe you felt that you were following a path that was not yours. Maybe you felt that someone was trying to guide you to a place that you didn't want to be. And you had to pause something and discover yourself. When, go through a self-love Gar um, garden <laughs> where you're going to grow your own music 
Look how beautiful. I'm just saying that and garden appears and all cards fell down. <laughs> yeah, this is pure self-love. And number eight, this is pure self-love. Eight is related to, um, to love, to the frequency of love. Um, just one minute. So I have to pick up here the cards that fell down because otherwise my cats are going to eat. <laughs> or shoe the cards. They get really un un impatient when I'm reading for a long time. They want my attention, so I'm so sorry. It's interesting uh, because I was talking about you're growing your own garden. So this is actually very beautiful. Look at this, look at the card that really came out uh, for you. This is self-love, this is pure self-love. This is number eight. Number eight, I was telling you, is related to a self-love. Um, it's the frequency of uh, green, which is interesting that it is uh, in karmic numerology, green is the color of number eight. So uh, that's it, my dears. It's like, you know, it, growing is looking at your own garden and understanding how much you can create from there and uh self-love um and because of that you were having and before we have the gardener and now i can see here the red garden so it's growing your own garden is creating your own music is a loving the self unconditional love uh when you have unconditional love you know it's almost impossible others to hmm, to be destroyed because um how can i say this it's like you are not easily uh, maneuver maneuvered uh, you know so if there was any kind of manipulation here um you decided to step away and uh, actually you kind of broke the norms of whatever was happening here uh, that this person had in mind there was kind of a switch you broke some some norms you broke broke what it should be okay in this person's eyes and you decided to go here through uh, a path that is not the easiest path but is the path of trust is the path of faith having faith that everything would be okay and deciding to grow your own garden decided to have your own frequency and sing your own song oh i'm sorry what am i doing um where is it hmm. okay it's here i'm trying to search here for the oracle so one minute so what are they thinking about my group number three yeah, that you you know you are believe you are believing, you are believing in source. You are believing um, that everything that you want is going to come true. It's like you you are believing in your in yourself, and uh, even if others are telling you, oh, it's not possible, oh, you will never, you are believing that is possible and it will happen. Okay, it will happen. It is possible, and you're deciding to. To grow your garden, you're deciding to sing your own song uh, because you matter and because you're you are unique and because you know a life needs uniqueness. It's because of that that we rejoice in when we see a garden and when we we see colors. Okay, it's because of um, that grace of receiving uh, things that are different, different worlds. Uh, different ways of being that we can connect or decide not connect with that okay so you're finding out yourself this person is seeing you finding out 
um, more, uh, I wouldn't say yourself, more of who you are, more growing more from this place of self-love. And um, yeah, what are they thinking about my group three? Maybe you cut out communication with this person. So this person um, is understanding that uh, there is not much communication coming from your part. So let me shuffle here. So let's see what are they thinking about my group number three. I believe this, you know what? I think that at the moment you are paying attention to yourself. It might be that you're not exposing uh, and not even not being as sociable as this person would wish. Because they see that, or maybe in this person's eyes, you're not uh, showing up, perhaps. Um, it might be that you are being more selective with your energy. Yeah, this person sees that you are strong. You are strong. Um, there is a lot of strength in and power in this, you know, way of finding oneself going going inwards to grow uh, your own colors and from there being able to share with others that um, are prepared to to receive that energy because not everybody will be prepared for a certain energy i used to say that in this world there are many worlds and um Sometimes we are prepared for one frequency and other times we, we might be more prepared for another frequency and we are going to be attracting other kind of people, other kind of um, situations, okay? So you are now worried in, and putting effort in creating a certain frequency that you want to be receiving in your life. So it's time for growth. Uh, it's time to figure out, to love more who you are, to pay attention at your own details, um, to get to know yourself even more. And um, this person seeing, is seeing you doing that. Yeah. It's like um, you are, yeah, you are in this journey of uh, finding out of knowing what is good for you, what is not good for you. Um, you know, and what is good for you might not be um, good for other people, you know. Um, life is not the same for everybody. People have different likes and different uh, tastes and that's why, why life is interesting, okay? is that you can find things that are different. Um, and um, uh, you might be choosing the even the frequency that you want to create around you, as I said before. And this person is seeing you uh, being more selective with your energy, as is seeing you in a very strong position yeah but and seeing is also seeing you using your energy wisely okay um maybe even being a bit protective of your energy yeah you're wanting to to discern who are the people that are around you who can you trust who can't you okay and you are wanting to do this. You are wanting, um, yeah, this person is seeing you choosing. This person is seeing you paying attention to these things. All right. So I'm going to stop here your readings and I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments. I really like to uh, get in touch with your energy because it's a way that um, is going to pop up uh, more specifically in the readings. 
and um, thank you so much for being here. We are going to see each other next time. Have a lovely day. Bye.